Yo, brawlers, this is your man, Glass Chin, and you're watching Glass Chin's Boxing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yo, brawlers. I just want to say a big thank you for your support. Since I started posting videos on this channel again last month, I've had over 100 new subscribers, so I really appreciate the support from all of you. Please do continue talking to me in the comments sections, as I really do enjoy getting a different perspective on boxing. It would be boring if we all had the same opinion. Please keep up the friendly banter with each other. Right, let's talk about Trey Lippe Morrison's first career loss against Mike Belogan. What can I say? I called it last week. That this was a dangerous fight and potential banana skin for Morrison. At first glance, while looking at the Hunter vs Forrest undercard, I thought even though they were both undefeated, I really didn't give Belogan much chance and thought this was a routine win for Morrison. Being honest, I hadn't seen much of Belogan, but seeing as he is a near 40 year old ex NFL player, I put him in the padded record club. I didn't pay much mind to this fight, but sitting on a train the other day on the way to work, I thought I'd check both their recent fights out. I couldn't find much footage of Belogan, but his strength, power, counter-punching and footwork really stood out to me, especially for his limited experience coming to boxing late. He piqued my interest and I could see this as the much needed step up fight for Morrison. But watching how Morrison struggled against the strength of a career journeyman like Jason Bergman, the warning signs were there. Morrison was a clear bet in favourite a couple of weeks ago. Yet a day or so after I posted my thoughts on this fight, Belogan suddenly became the bet in favourite as I was tempted to put a double on Belogan to beat Morrison and George Arias to beat Cassius Chaney. I'm not sure what changed to make the fans start betting on Belogan, but the bookmakers must have lost a fortune on this fight. I take my hat off to Belogan. He rose to the occasion and destroyed the son of a legend in a single round, a man whose father once defeated the great George Foreman. I really don't know where Trey goes from here. I, like many, was hoping that lightning would strike twice. He seemed to be more naturally gifted than his brother James Morrison and seemed like the one to carry on the family name. But maybe I and a lot of others have overlooked Trey's younger half-brother. He had a couple of impressive first-round wins this year, and James Mackenzie Morrison versus Mike Belogan would be the next logical fight to make. Could Belogan kill off the Tommy Morrison dynasty one son at a time, or would the youth and speed of James Morrison be enough to get revenge for his brother? James Morrison is naturally bigger and closer to Belogan's weight, coming in at 2.46. For his last bout in October, knocking out journeyman Skylar Thompson in a round. Maybe Belogan would be too big a step up. James seems to have a similar career path as Trey padding their records against journeyman due to their lack of amateur experience, both trying to gain experience in the gym sparring rather than taking on contenders or prospects with a pulse. Belogan at 38 doesn't have time on his side. I would like to see him take one or two more tests before moving up to fight a top 15 fire. His footwork and seek and destroy performance against Morrison definitely makes him an exciting fighter to watch. The winner of Kofi versus Rice 2 would be a great opponent. I'd pay decent money to watch him fight either of those guys. Both fights would be absolute wars. He's now strangely actually ranked above former two-time world title challenger and long-time gatekeeper Chris Ariola on Boxing Rec. One absolute barn burner that fight would be. You would have to make Ariola the favourite after rolling back the years against Andy Ruiz Jr. in his last bout, but Mike Belogan would be a live dog in that fight. One thing's for sure, if that was to happen, we wouldn't hear the final bell. This is an exciting time in the heavyweight division, with Ortiz vs Martin, Parker vs Chisora 2, Anderson vs Teslenko, Sanchez vs Negron, Makhmadov vs Maris Wack, all on the horizon. Hopefully Belogan can cement himself into the mix and get some big fights to build on his great win. Who would you like to see Belogan fight next, brawlers? Do you think Trey Morrison can come back and carve out his own legacy? Please let me know in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.